Are you sick and tired of spending hours at a time grinding for coins and not getting the units you want? Do you use luck boots and pay for VIP and still struggle to summon the upgraded Titan Cinema Man? Well, what if I told you you're not alone? And I know the perfect way to summon an unlimited amount of godly units. Literally the easiest way possible. It cannot be made more easy. If you guys are excited to see this strat, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And you can take my word for it. I pioneered the most ah. popular strategy for doing this in the first place for Mythic. I am the most reliable source. People love stealing my strats. Without further ado, let me show you what we gotta do. So most people, when they used to do my old strategy, they would wander on over to Palm Paradise and jump on in. And once we jump in, you vote for Legendary and put on Auto Skip, and you don't place down a single unit. I mean, you can if you want if you want to go to a little bit deeper of a wave, but you can legitimately fully AFK this if you want to. This also isn't the actual strategy i do have a new one i'm just showing you guys the old one and how this one's now better a lot of people in my other video as well kept telling me how oh it's patched now it's patched now well it's okay because it's not fully patched by the way and on top of that there's actually a better way of doing this anyways so obviously we just kind of have to sit around and wait and wait and wait until we get our opportunity we are now officially a minute in and we still haven't taken any leak damage so as far as things go on that front we're looking pretty good can't really complain finally got some units coming in on the final uh conveyor belt here ready to attack my tower and i'm not ready to defend because i'm not gonna defend that's not how the strategy works we'll place down our shield just so he can do a little bit of damage i also just want to show you guys him this shield breaker basher is such a cool unit i love him very much i think i don't think he's op but i think he's in like a tier category if not s tier i think you can make an argument to be on your team for every round look at this his cooldown's pretty rough at level two but he does so much damage i'm getting distracted i'm gonna sell you sorry a sidetrack i got sidetracked but you don't need to place the shield unit down or any unit at all actually i was only doing that because i i wanted to you are gonna purposely try to lose here and when i say try you are gonna lose our goal is to make it to wave 10 here i placed down this really quick just so we can like hopefully guarantee we make it to wave 10 and beautiful wave 10 right at the three minute mark and and boom, 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 boom. Okay, we're dead. And we get 100 coins like that in three minutes. So that easily, that simply, without really even having to do much, we got 100 coins. But I have a better strategy. Let me show you. Also, just to be clear, this should be, uh... Yeah, this could be 150 coins if you also ran a coin boost. That's only if you want to, though. That's not necessary because that's kind of a lot of Robux to do that. Okay, now let me show you something one better. So that took us three minutes to get to wave 10, which I know sounds freaky. But what if I told you Turkey Town is actually the better strategy for coin farm? Or in this case, they have a better chance of summoning godly units. Literally the most important thing that you can do in this strategy is to turn on auto skip. Turn it on. Now we're just gonna wait. Yo, when did they put the hieroglyphics here? That's not even readable. Fun fact, I still haven't beat Turkey Town, and I'm also not a partner. Oh, hopeless the bony boy. He's waiting for people to attack his town. He doesn't have all day, so don't be afraid to kill me. Oh, the toilets come down. The missile and blow. I don't know what I'm singing. I'm not even making sense. But if you are wondering, our goal here is to make it to wave seven at least least that is in fact the goal hopefully we're able to do that we're looking good so far i think i think we should be just fine without even placing down a unit ideally i think we are good yeah 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 this shouldn't kill us i don't think right beautiful excellent this doesn't kill us it's almost like i strategized it those assassin toilets look like they might cause us some some issues though i wonder do i just do i just take it or do i do i try to try to take them out really fast oh i can't sell my scientist tv man oh i messed up i messed up whoops well right now i would sell this and we would have lost on wave seven in two minutes that's what was supposed to happen but i forget that you can't sign uh like you can't delete scientists <clears throat> okay, there we go. We made it to wave 9 and 2 minutes and 48 seconds, which even though I messed up, if you do the math, it's actually way more coins per minute. But let me show you an even better strategy. You are you guys are not ready for this. 
So, as you can see here, I got the absolute gang ready for action. However, we're gonna do a different strategy today. Normally, you guys are used to me having me bring all of these guys in with me at one. However, that's actually not the best efficiency of time. We're gonna have all of them go in one by one. Let me show you why. So, all we gotta do is send Hopeless YT over here, click start, wait till we get inside. As soon as we get inside, auto skip on, boom, done. Now we're on to Hopeless Spot. Hopeless Spot's in. We run on over to Turkey Town, start, and then as soon as we get in, boom, auto skip. I think you guys see where this is going. Hopeless Helpers time. Run on over to Turkey Town. Yeah. The one thing I wish there was is that there was like a always have auto skip on feature. All right, Hopeless stands time to bat. I didn't realize Pro has a sinister. He's kind of crazy like that. And bat. And don't forget, Hopeless 2 also wants to have some fun. And mm, bat. And as you can see here, as soon as I come back on Hopeless, it's only been a minute and a half if you really wanted to I could pick up I could fight a little bit You know, it's it's all it's all preference at the end of the day But you probably would think I'm crazy. Let me, do I have auto skip on on all of them? Of course I do Of course I do. But we got the a bop at a beach -ity. Okay, and then just like that in two minutes We got 72 coins if we really wanted to we could have made it to wave 8 to have gotten 80 something coins instead But that was just in two minutes and then wait a minute. Let me go over here How is things going over here on hopeless spot side of the thing? things. Oh, it looks like in exactly two minutes, we also made 72 coins here. Whoa, that's crazy. Wait, let me go over here. How's Hopeless Helper do? Brown cameraman, you want to handle some business? He didn't handle business. Oh, but check this out. A minute 59, 72 coins. And by the way, I wonder what's going to happen here. And I also wonder what's going to happen here as well. But when that happens, I could literally just go to lobby, come back here. And before Hopeless 2 would be done, even with his map, I have Hopeless YT already going back into turkey town i think you guys are picking up on the strategy lobby 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 have you run over here if you thought the auto lose strategy was patched you are so wrong you could not be more wrong have them run over again so not only is this strategy just super super easy if you want to do it like extremely easy you could easily just like turn on some music throw on your favorite anime literally Really ch like chill back kick back and relax as everything transpires for free all you got to do is once i die here they're all already in once they die just gotta restart the train and if you wanted to you could also even put a coin boost on top of that i'm not even running a coin boost right now let's do the math shall we good thing we have our handy dandy calculator so if we got a coin boost let's say we'd just be getting 100 coins exactly per two minutes to be clear that would be 30 runs in an hour 100 coins in two minutes so we would have have 30 runs so just on one account you'd be getting 3,000 coins in one hour but we're doing it on five accounts that's 15,000 coins you can easily get 15,000 coins an hour if you wanted to but let's just say which you totally could do this if you wanted to by the way let's just say you did this on tenic instead okay which is which is very possible i will say this it would be 100 times 30 still times 10 you'd be getting 30,000 coins an hour and let's say you were crazy and you did it for eight hours you could get a quarter of a million coins if you do this for eight hours i don't know how long other people have been grinding for coins and toilet tower defense but i'm just gonna be the one to say it i think they're doing it wrong i think i'm doing it right i'm just gonna go ahead and auto sell my units here how many coins do i get for making it to wave 12 or i guess wave 11 here 132 almost double the coins and double the double the minutes so obviously as far as things go this is clearly the best strategy to get coins and get those juicy summons that you're looking for go ahead and slap on yourself a luck boost you should be able to summon one after a few hours of grinding. Here, watch, I'll summon one right now. Do you guys know how insane that'd be if I actually did right now? That'd be... <laughs> That'd be freaking insane. Either way, if you guys want to see more stuff like this or you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys press the like button and subscribe. My videos haven't been doing well recently, so it would mean a lot to me. Either way, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.